There are sacrifices you make for a life on tour. But then, if you love it, then they're not sacrifices at all. There are days on the road when you just want to go home. I remember sitting at the back of a venue in Tallahassee in Florida once, just looking up, trying to, trying to find a way of getting to the airport and see if I had enough money on me to just get a flight home because I was so sick of where I was. You get used to things like living out of a suitcase. You get used to keeping all of your valuables in identifiable pockets at all times. All right, let's try this one. Let's begin in the beginning. We're lovers and we're losers. We're heroes and we're pioneers. And we're beggars and we're choosers. We're skirting around the edges of the ideal demographic. We're almost on the guest list, but we're always stuck in traffic. I've never been happier than when I've been on the move. When I can look at a sheet of paper and see that I've just done 40 shows in a row and I've now got 40 more to come, I've never I've been that happy in my life. I never will be. When you're travelling around on your own and there's no people coming to the shows and you're sleeping on the floor and you haven't got any money, you need a quite titanic degree of self-belief to keep doing that and not be really depressed. You have to kind of just just believe in yourself and believe that you're doing that it, something's going to come of it. Not necessarily something's going to come of it in the sense that one day I'm going to headline Wembley Arena or whatever, but more it, that the music you're making is worth making and that it's worth communicating with the people that you're communicating with. And there's a point to it all. My name is Bathurst, I'm Impresario. It's written at the bottom of the page. I have artist's hands, though I'm a working man. My craft has been forgotten by the age. So tonight will be my last night on the stage. This is my family's trade. My father built this place at the turning of the 20th century. And now my son's left home and set out on his own And the kids these days are glued to TV screens And the old girl is dying on her feet Once more to the bones, one more cut Shakespeare for the music hall and Now my son's left home He sat out on his own And the critics think we're quaint but set to fall But they've only seen the show from the store Once more to the bones One more curtain
Every morning, I wake up terrified by the concept that we're gonna die, and it gets me jumping out of bed screaming because there's so many things that a person could do in life, and there's so many places to go and people to see and, and things to do, and, and if you've only got, what, three school years and 10 or whatever it is, and it's, that terrifies me, and it makes me kind of frantic in a way about just trying to do stuff and make sure I do as many things as I can and make sure that I kind of live up to all the things that I think that I could be if I tried hard. It's funny, I think that the people I'm inspired by are people who are still on the move when they're old. I like looking at Dylan and at B.B. King and Loudon Wainwright, the people who kept going relentlessly, pushed through the, this idea of keeping moving, keeping speaking the truth. I think that's a really beautiful idea. Sounds great. I mean, if, if I could just have the tiniest hair more guitar, and then it would be fantastic. Come morning, I am disappearing. Just an imprint on the bed sheets and by the roadside with my thumb out. A car pulls up, Bob's driving, and so I climb in. We don't say a word as we pull up into the music is just. It's the bass code, it's everything, it's the background. I'm always humming something. And the thing I look out for in music is honesty. That moment when you feel like somebody's pushed themselves past this kind of barrier of keeping your guard up, you know, and you suddenly, you break through and you feel you've got this moment, this perfect moment where you break through and you see something real, something underneath, something, you see the bone through the flesh, you, you feel a glimpse of the soul when that, when the voice cracks, when the guitar feeds back a little bit and you just feel like you've heard something true and something that was, something that's undeniable and something that can't be taken back. That's the moment that I love in music, that's what I try and do with the music I make and that's what I want to listen to. It's really important to me that I consider what I do to be to be punk rock. That's the music I grew up with, that's my roots. I'd never want to lose sight of that. Punk means a million different things to different people, but to me it always just kind of meant seizing the moment and a sort of defiance and self-reliance kind of thing, you know? I'm not going to wait for anybody else to tell me what I can do with my life. I'm not going to sit around and 
and wait for permission to be the things I want to be. I felt like when I was in punk bands, I almost kind of lost sight of that for a while. And this is my music, this is my art, and I'm going to do it in the way I want and at the pace that I want to, and I want to do it hard and fast. One more time, I still believe that everyone can find a song for every time they've lost and every time they've won. So just remember, folks, we're not just saving lives, we're saving souls, and we're having fun. But I still believe. Now who'd have thought that after all it's rock and roll? Thank you very much. <laughs>